How to do email marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy the top email experts in the world. Not only that, I'm gonna have one of these experts that you probably already know take you on a tour and show you exactly how he does it using his favorite software for email marketing. Here's what you need to do to copy the top online marketers in the world. The ones that generate hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Are you confused, frustrated, overwhelmed by all this information that you get on YouTube? They try to show you to reinvent the wheel when it comes to email marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you the number of emails you need, what type of emails, how you should connect your emails, and best of all, without writing a single email. There is no plugin in this video to buy a course for a thousand, two thousand dollars. You can do this free of charge. Like I said, there is no plugin for you to purchase any course here. But all I ask you to do is subscribe, drop a like, and make sure to hit that notification button. Mark Daniels here, and I'd like to welcome you here. Like I promised you, I'm going to go ahead and just talk to you about something that is very important. And this is going to decide where you will be in a year or so. I'm talking about success. We're talking about email marketing strategy and the secrets or the secret that no one talks about or nobody knows about. If you take a look on online marketing, for example, if you're trying to find this information, it's gonna be very difficult to do so. So let's go ahead and get started here with the first thing. Now I'm gonna be revealing some secrets and I'm gonna be challenging you a little bit because it's really good and I always found it very important when you start thinking on your own a little bit and this is very important. So I'm going to be revealing some secrets and I'm going to ask you this question. How most revenues are generated after a product or service promotion? And I'm talking about big companies, biggest companies in the world, smallest companies. I'm talking about top online marketers and so forth. If you know that, go ahead and put it in the description area or put it in the comment area below just try to make it a little bit fun it is email marketing email marketing by far is the most important thing when you are doing some kind of a promotion doesn't matter what it is you're not gonna get the bulk of your sales or your revenue from that promotion it's always in the follow-up and usually that happens with email marketing before you do any email marketing before emailing anyone, few things have to be in place. You have to know your niche. And I'm talking about for you as not a big company, I'm talking about somebody like a beginner or trying to get started. You need to know your niche very well before you start any single or any word on your email. Uh, you don't really have to write them. I'm gonna show you how to get them here in just a little bit. But in case you don't know about your niche or so forth, I do have a video. I really think you should watch it in case you didn't watch it or even if you watched it I would say watch it again there is a free right here there is a free download free download in there I have 27 free niches in there you can pick one in case you want to the second one is you have to know that all responders by now and I've been preaching this for a long time they're not all the same and you have to get some autoresponder that is good for affiliate marketing. Even if you're not selling affiliate marketing, even if you have your own products, for example, but in order for you to become very successful, 99.99% of all the successful people online, whether affiliates or not, or non-affiliates, or they sell their own products, they sell affiliate marketing as well because it's a product additional product that you don't have to make it yourself by now you should know that not all autoresponders are the same some of them are affiliate friendly however most of them they are not affiliate friendly of course before emailing anyone you need to pre or the emails need to be pre-written emails in other word pre-write the emails don't write them on the go for example how many emails and when? 
what I mean by that, how many emails should you send in and when should you send them in? I'm going to go ahead and answer this important question because if you know this information, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people because most of them do them wrong. The number is between 7 to 10. Do not do more than 10. It depends on what's going on, but 7 is the number that I really like okay there's a lot of reasons in here i'm not gonna go too much into the reasons uh because maybe i i discussed it uh or maybe i maybe covered it somewhere else but in case you have some questions about it please let me know and i'll be more than happy to provide you with the answer now some people ask well when should i send them well here's the best thing after a lot of research the best time to actually send the email to the prospect it is the same time they opted in it doesn't matter what they opted in the same time make it the same time because they were available at that same time okay email strategy flow this is so important and it's very important to understand that because I'm going to go ahead and just talk about it briefly here. Uh, maybe I've discussed this before. In case you know exactly what I'm talking about, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to, I'm going to add a few things to it. Now, of course, the traffic is the most important thing. Now, I did give you a, uh, I believe, a coupon, and I also gave you a 24-hour source of good traffic. You need to start getting the traffic going. It doesn't matter if you already have a product or not. You need to start nurturing and bringing in and starting your email list because that's where the money is. Now, after that, we talked about we talked about the uh, opt-in page and bridge page. I do have them both, and we're finding that this is becoming more and more successful because it's less steps that anybody can look at or take action at. Now, that's usually when you capture that email, what happens, it goes to your autoresponder. Now, what happens after that? Now, it goes to the thank you page. Of course, the thank you page, the way that I like to do it, it's automated. In other words, it goes from the thank you page, it goes to the, the affiliate sales page as well. It doesn't be, it does not have to be an affiliate sales page could be your own product for example but the most important is to do it in that way and after that you start sending them the autoresponder sequence and i'm talking about the emails or the pre-written emails that usually or should get you at least 40 percent conversion if you do it the way i am telling you i've been doing this for a long time and i've tried so many different ones and this is the best one that actually works Okay, we're going to talk about optimize email conversion. How do you optimize email conversion? And I'm going to talk about some three email stages that should take place when that is in process. In other words, when you are emailing your prospects. Of course, traffic. Traffic, we talked about it. You got to go to the opt-in page. What's going to happen after that is going to go to the autoresponder. Now, I'm going to talk about a little bit more in depth here. Now, stage one, you should have two emails. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what type of emails that you should send and where you should send them to. Now, as you know, by now, you should have done an opt-in or bridge page opt-in plus bridge page you should know that so the first two emails that you do this is the stage one they should go to the opt-in page not the sales page okay because number one I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna talk a little bit, little bit more about it later on then let me go ahead and go back in here and then we're gonna go to stage number two stage number two they're gonna be you know two emails the emails are going to be just a value a driven type of emails you're not selling anything you're trying to be the friend of that person you should be telling them of course about forget about sales okay right now forget totally about sales talk about something that could benefit them benefit uh don't concentrate too much about features the overrated just concentrate about benefits because people have this w i i f m what's in it for me you have to let them know what's in it for them and don't mention that you are selling something don't even put in a link now after that you're going to get into a stage number three in stage number three there's three emails 
that you should send in now I'm gonna tell you about stage number one two and three and then I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth about what you should have in there and where to get that information to put in your emails now as far as the stage number three, what happens is that you send them to the sales page. It could be an affiliate page or it could be your own product. It really doesn't matter, but those three should go there because at this point, the psychology is that they're not really sold. They're not really looking at your email that much for, so they need a little bit more sales. And if you have if you for example with clickbank their sales pages usually it depends on the product they do cover and they have good sales pages now we're gonna go and talk about what type of emails now I'm gonna talk about the first one the first email that you should send to the customer or send to your prospect it should have like some kind of introduction a reminder and benefits the link should be included to go to the opt-in page or the opt-in plus bridge page so i talked about that there's a reason for that because sometimes people life happens and maybe they're interested but something happens okay maybe the phone ring maybe they have something going on you're not making it too big of email but you kind of like try to remind them about it and tell them a little bit about the benefits don't go too much into the benefits and make sure you have a link for the opt-in page now the second email should be like a combo now i know i said it should be like a value but combo you have benefits you have benefits and also you have a link there that's fine the second one should be the same and also should go to the opt-in page because you still you still concentrate a little bit more about the benefit if they did not take a, a an action in the first one maybe the second one they need a little bit more benefits and what's in it for me so you provide in that after that we talked about the third and the fourth email they should be value emails which is benefits 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 and i'm going to show you where to get the benefits from don't try to sell here don't try to sell them don't even put a sales link nothing they're going to be wondering well whoa he's not trying to sell me he's just trying to help me out and this is what you want to position yourself for future sales i'm talking to you about some strategies that are used by top online email strategists i've been doing this for a long time i've done it the wrong way the right way and then i figured it out after you know doing it for so many years now let's talk about the fifth email also the fifth email is going to be a combo email benefit plus link but you're going to send them to the sales page and i talked about it a little bit more six and the seven emails you're going to send them you're going to give them value benefits plus links you're going to beef up the benefits a little bit more and send them to the sales page because the sales page have some information we're gonna do something very unique we're gonna do a demo of convert kit what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have pat flynn if you don't know pat flynn my friend pat flynn he is one of the top affiliate marketers in the world he's also the advisor for convert kit so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have him go ahead and talk about creating a landing page form inside convert kit here we are in the dashboard of ConvertKit and here on the home front, you could see a lot of different things like the chart for subscriber growth over time. You can even see purchases if you have them. But I wanna show you just how simple it is to create a landing page and a form. If I go to the landing pages in form signups area and hit create new, I can either pick a form to just drop into my website, super easy, or even if you don't have a website, you can in fact have ConvertKit host a page for you to begin to collect emails. So for example, uh, you could choose between a whole bunch of different templates here. I'm gonna choose this first one, Abby. And then all I have to do is just customize this. I don't need to know any code or anything. And you might be like, oh, well, where can I get some images? I'm just gonna click on this image and choose an image. And what's cool is it is integrated with, first of all, your Instagram, if you wanted to, or Unsplash, which is a free tool built into this where you can select, for example, if I'm promoting something related to you know email marketing, I'm just going to type email marketing and I'll put, uh, let's add uh, this image here. Why not? That's a little bit too big. Okay, let's click and edit that and let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to crop this. This is all again within ConvertKit. So I'm going to go here just because I want this little tiny segment. Done. Done. If 
Boom. There we go. Catchy headline goes here, some other text here. And as you can see, I can just simply click and change things around. Insert cool copy here. Let's say I want to also add the ability to collect a person's name. Okay, let's make this the name field. So I'm gonna hit custom field first name and I wanna move this around. Okay, let's move this up here and I'm gonna change the button text from subscribe to get instant access. Obviously, I would decorate this a little bit more, maybe have a different background image, go to general style, background, same thing, unsplash. This is where I would do, let's try email marketing again. And I'm gonna add this one of like an office or something. There you go, super easy to use. And then all I have to do is save and publish. And this is literally now on the internet. I'm gonna hit share, click to copy, go to a new website. That is the link there and boom, this is already ready for you to collect emails. So if you're coming out with a website very soon or if you happen to be launching something very soon, you just simply use this to build as many landing pages as you would like. Now the next section is so important, which is sending a broadcast email. Take it away. The next section that's super easy to use is the broadcast area. I love the broadcast section because this is where we send emails. I'm gonna hit new broadcast. It does give you a good record of previous emails that you've sent, click through rates, all these sorts of things and data behind them. But I'm gonna send a new email. What's cool about this, and you'll notice this, this is a little bit more advanced, but this is again, built into ConvertKit. Let's say that I only wanna send an email to people who are in my podcasting course. So I'm gonna to go to subscribe to tag, power up podcasting all students, add filter. So now it'll be nearly 3000 students, but I also don't wanna send it to people who are also in my email marketing course. So tag and let's do email marketing students. So email marketing magic. And you'll notice it's 2,744 subscribers, add filter, it should be less. So that removed the people who are in my email marketing course. So now if I wanted to promote my email marketing course and I didn't wanna promote it to people who already had it, but I knew they were students of mine, all I have to do is hit next step. So that's how we determine who we send to. Now it's just super easy. Email marketing magic is now open. Then I can go to next step. I'm not gonna send this cause that would be very weird right now. Uh, but this is just an example. I can in fact schedule this for later. So I, I'm gonna schedule it for tomorrow at 6.30 AM Pacific, schedule broadcast, or I can just save it for later. And that's another very powerful, easy thing to do. As you know by now that the most important and most powerful thing that you can do in email marketing is automation because that makes your life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Now the most powerful thing and the thing that I wanna share with you is in the automation section. Now there's so many things I could share with you in here but I just also just wanna show you what's very unique about ConvertKit. Two things here. If I go to automations, I'm gonna talk about what you are seeing here in just a minute because this is the most powerful thing. But if we just go to sequences, we can get access to our traditional sequences of emails or autoresponders. We can see a lot of data behind a lot of the sequences that we already have. If we go to new sequence, they're very easy to create. Test sequence. And you'll see when I hit the sequence, we now have open an amazing tool. This is building out our autoresponder all in one spot. This will be the email that gets sent out immediately. So let's make this immediate. Then we're gonna add another email that gets sent out, mm, let's say seven days later, a week later. Cool, let's send another email and then another email. We can even use this filtration process like we did in the last section to remove people from receiving certain emails. So imagine that you have a whole sequence of emails, what's called sometimes a nurture sequence, and then you wanna promote a product within that. Well, we definitely don't wanna promote that to people who already have it. So even in the automated sequences here, we can have a filter that says, okay, do not send or matching none of the following. I don't want anybody who's in power up podcasting to receive this email. Boom, add filter to group. Now, anybody who happens to be in my course already is not gonna get this email that says, get access to power up podcasting today. Special deal, right? I don't wanna send emails to people who already have my courses about getting into my courses. And this is just one of the fun things about sequences, but let's take sequences to a whole nother level. If we go back here, we can now create what's called an automation. And an automation is a visual way to see what is happening from a high level perspective. And this is so, so powerful and such a good thing for even beginners to learn. So based on 
where people come from. We can tag them as such, however we'd like, and then send them to certain emails. So for example, I can go click new automation and we're gonna create one together. Create automation. When a person mm, joins a form or makes a purchase, let's click joins a form. And let's say they join this form here, which is our uh, 100 email challenge. So I'm gonna hit add event. Cool. I can also add another form. Let's say when a person purchases something, I want the same thing to happen. So maybe when a person purchases something from Stripe or makes a Stripe payment, sure, why not? So now when these things happen, I can have people be tagged. So I added an action, add tag, and I wanna create a tag, uh, let's do um, email challenge tag. Okay, so when people come in from either of these places, they get the email challenge tag. Then what do, what do we want to happen? I'm gonna click plus. Now let's give them a sequence, right? So let's give them an email sequence right away. We can add a delay if we want. I can just go back here and add this too. Uh, delay, let's delay uh, two days, add action. Then I wanna give them the email sequence. Let's add that test one that we did before. Or I can add one, test sequence two. Test sequence two, add action. Now what's cool about this is I don't have to go back to sequences to go and edit this. I can just click here and it opens up right on the side. I get to see and remember where people came from, what they got tagged with, and then now know what emails they are getting. Let's send them this one immediately. Let's send the next one after that the next day. Sure, let's send another one a week after that. And can I, I can always come in here and rearrange these emails, add more. Maybe I want a different one to be first. We can go from there. This is such a, this, this right here is what would normally cost thousands of dollars in other tools that I've used. And this is just here within ConvertKit. This is why ConvertKit is the best. Access to beautiful tools that are simple and easy to use, but very powerful and inexpensive. If you want to know how to make money very fast through affiliate marketing, click this playlist up here. If you want to know more about email marketing, click this right here. As usual, I'll see you at the top.